Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the symposium for Tricia Brown. I'm Margaret Miller, and I'm delighted to see so many people here today and from so many different departments across the university. The faculty of the College of Visual and Performing Arts selected Tricia Brown as the 2007 recipient of the Distinguished Master Artist Award. The president of the University of South Florida, Judy Genshaft, will present this award to Tricia on February 28th and again on March 2nd when the Tricia Brown Dance Company performs at USF at the Mahaffey Theater, uh, performs at USF and at the Mahaffey Theater at the Progress Energy Center in St. Petersburg later this month. For me, Tricia Brown epitomizes the avant-garde with her fearless, innovative, and at times revolutionary practice. She is able to work in distinct spheres of the art world as a visual artist, as the most acclaimed choreographer to emerge in the postmodern era, and, a, and as a producer and director of opera. Recently, she has also taken on a, an additional practice and added that to her repertoire, and that is as a maker of prints. And she worked at the University of South Florida's graphic studio with Tom Pruitt and Chris Kreitz. Her approach was pure and direct. She made an impression directly on the plate with the movement of her foot. We are celebrating the multiple dimensions of the Tricia Brown practice through a series of projects, including drawing on land and air, an exhibition of her contemporary, uh, an exhibition of her drawings at the Contemporary Art Museum, set and reset, reset, the restaging of her acclaimed collaboration with Robert Rauschenberg and Laurie Anderson, which will be performed as part of the spring student dance concert, uh, her residency at Graphic Studio, as I just mentioned, and through the performances of the Trisha Brown Dance Company at the end of the month. Following my introductory remarks, Susan Rosenberg, art historian from New York, will discuss the relationship of her drawings and choreography, and that will be followed by Michael Foley, assistant uh, professor of dance here at USF, who will address her legacy from his perspective as a choreographer and dancer, and finally, uh, Tricia Brown will respond. This is a two-hour symposium, and I hope we'll get through the remarks in time for lots of lively discussion and questions from the audience. I was a student here at USF in the 60s and later in Hawaii in the 70s, and I remember hearing about the experimental work of Tricia Brown, Steve Paxson, John Cage, and Rauschenberg at the Judson Memorial Theater. This was an environment of radical experimentation. Tricia Brown has pushed the limits of what be could, could be considered appropriate movement for choreography by creating performances for alternative spaces, including rooftops and walls, flirting with gravity, alternatively using it and defying it. Tricia Brown is known for her work in the visual arts, including improvisational works combining dance and drawing and collaborations with artists including Robert Rauschenberg, John Cage, Laurie Anderson, Nancy Graves, Terry Winter, and Elizabeth Murray, to name a few. What began in the 70s as notations that attempted to her, translate her choreography to paper soon began to be viewed as intriguing images of freedom and re-examination of space. Her solo exhibition at the USF Contemporary Art Museum titled Tricia Brown Drawing on Land and Air is a survey of her drawings from the mid-70s to the present. The exhibition is designed to set up conditions that invite viewers to make connections between Tricia Brown's creative methodologies in drawing and choreography. Her conceptual systems and quirky gestures break down body movements. To curate this exhibition, I work closely with Rebecca Davis, uh, assistant to Tricia Brown, we made a selection of early works from previously pre uh, we made a selection of early works previously shown in a drawing exhibition organized by the Museums of Marseille, France, in 1998. I started the exhibition with a series of posters and a video uh, by Bert Barr, 
this is the poster that we designed here at University of South Florida to commemorate the Distinguished Master Artist Residency. That's why we've come together with Pear, who's the engineer, with you, with Dickie, and with me. It was different, considerably different in the theater. My last, uh, we worked hard over, uh, we were together in Moscow looking at it. We were out at Queensboro College looking at it. We looked at it in the theater about five times before it hit city center in New York. A series of four monitors are placed at one end of the museum's East Gallery sh showing videos that can serve to assist viewers in understanding the relationship between her approach to mark making and dance movement. For example, the cube drawings create a system that is expressed in locus. The, draw, uh, the building and sequencing of forms and gestures can be seen in drawings and in her dance group accumulation. Um, there are two versions of that in the exhibition. Here you see the uh, exhibition space and the four monitors in one corner and we, uh, under the direction of Tony Palms, our exhibition designer, uh, we decided to display the videos in this way so that they didn't occupy too much of the space of the museum. I asked Tricia to create a new series of works for this exhibition. She worked on various kinds of paper and assembled cut pieces of paper exploiting the torn edges and the spaces between sheets of paper. The drawings form tracings and continuous outlines of her body and she engages, uh, as she engages the spatial arena of the paper. The monumental drawings with the title, It's a Draw, allude to Trisha's recognition that choreography and drawing hold equal allures for her and that the essence of her process is drawing on land and air. The performances of Trisha Brown Dance Company on February 28th and March 2nd will, will include three works. And this is a part of the exhibition that I hope helps connect the process of making these large scale monumental drawings uh, to the work. Okay, the performances of Trisha Brown Dance Company on February 28th and March 2nd will include three works, Set and Reset, The Quiet of Geometry, and Present Tense. I hope you will buy tickets for one of these two performances. They're now on sale. See, I'm relentless in promoting this concert. I would like to name of the few of the many people who have supported the Trisha Brown Dance Residency here at USF. I'm pleased to acknowledge and express my appreciation for the contributions of the staff of the USF Institute for Research and Art. Alexa Favada followed up with all the details of the organization of the exhibition. Don Fuller designed the invitations and publications. Nikki Krushka managed the Distinguished Master Artist events. Randy West handled related contracts and accounting. Vicki Billig, Peter Foe, and David Reuter. Reuter assisted with loans for the exhibition. And Tony Palms designed in the installation with the assistance of James Roger, Amber Cobb, and Denton Crawford. David Knorr advised on the set design for the student performance of Set and Reset, Reset, and assisted with the related educational programs. Leslie Brousseau organized all of the social events. The Distinguished Master Artist Series is a program of the College of Visual and Performing Arts. I thank Ron Jones, Dean, Barton Lee, Associate Dean, and my fellow directors, Wallace Wilson, Mark Powers and Wade Wiest. Michael Foley, assistant professor of dance, is recognized for his work with the students to produce set and reset. USF alumna Claudia Ryan, 
created a new set in the spirit of Trisha's original collaboration with Robert Rauschenberg. Stacy Spence, a former dancer with the Trisha Brown Dance Company, has worked in residence for six weeks with the students. Bill Brewer designed the costumes and Jason Winfield assess, assisted with the set production. Bo Edwardson is acknowledged for his work in managing the Trisha Brown Dance Company's Tampa performances. I am very pleased to have Chris Fallman at the Mahaffey Theater at the Progress uh, Energy Center as our partner for the company's performance in St. Petersburg. It has been a pleasure working with several staff at the Trisha Brown Dance Company, including Michelle Thompson, Elizabeth Johanningmeyer, I know her, Rebecca Davis, Nicole Taney, and Trisha Tolliver. I also thank Bert Barr for his continuing confidence in Graphic Studio and for his advice, good humor, and support. Most of all, I express my deep and heartfelt gratitude to Trisha Brown because of her talents and generous contributions. We have the great joy of presenting our work in the Tampa Bay area.